Well guys, welcome back at I'm watching PSUs. Did you know that all the competitive players have their controller overclocked and that dramatically reduces their input lag and makes them feel like if they had double the FPS, which they actually had? Well, I didn't know either actually. And I discovered that just because following the Call of Duty World League, I saw a player say, hey, my overclock is not working on the controller. I cannot play like this, meaning that this thing is so important to do if you play competitively or if you play any kind of FPS or Battle Royale that they cannot play without. So I set out, I documented myself, did a few tests, and it's absolutely crazy how much an overclock on your controller does. Now this thing will work on PC and it's gonna work with every controller on the market, okay? So PS5 controller, Xbox controller or any aftermarket ones. Like today I'm using an hex controller which I covered on the channel in the past and uh, it's a PS5 controller pretty much. This thing is gonna basically reduce your input lag by like four milliseconds and it's gonna be slightly different for Xbox or PS5 but I will show you guys exactly how to do it. So we will go in Windows and I will show you. But before we do that, just promise me one thing. If in the end the tutorial is helpful, please drop a like and subscribe and maybe drop a comment saying it was helpful, okay? So let's get started. The first preliminary step is gonna be to go into your Windows search bar and type info there, okay? So info, and then you wanna open system information right there. Now you wanna scroll until you find secure boot state. Now this is Italian, but uh, secure boot you wanna read and now it has to be on disabled, okay? If it is on enabled, you want to disable it. And now how do you disable it? I will just quickly show it to you guys, okay? So what you have to do is go into the BIOS of your PC. So you basically turn the PC off and then spam the delete key on your keyboard, okay? Or the F2 key, okay? So let's do just that for you guys. So now once you're in the BIOS, you want to search for the secure boot option. It will be different depending on your BIOS. Now I have a BIOS star here, but uh, yeah. Then you want to go into it and set secure boot to disabled or even if it's enabled, you want to basically put it uh, to other OS. Uh, so if you have it, you will uh, understand what I mean. Basically, um, it will say secure boot type either Windows UFI or other OS and you want to put it to other or S. Okay, at this point, just hit F10 in the BIOS, save configuration and reset, and let's see you guys back in Windows. But again, if you have Secure Boot disabled to begin with, you don't have to do none of this, okay? Okay, so next and the last preliminary thing, you wanna go in the search bar and type core, and the core isolation option will pop out. You wanna click on it, and then you wanna turn off memory integrity and hit yes. You might have to reboot your PC after this, but with this, we have done all the preliminary options, which most videos do not actually show. So at this point, we can go ahead with our software. First step is actually downloading the programs. Now I will put the link to the official GitHub website. It's an open source software, it's uh, pretty safe. So how do we download it from GitHub? Basically you click on the file we want, which is this, and then we click on download the raw file right there and it will pop up in our download folder. So now we open our download folder, we go here, we right click, we go extract, extract, and now we wanna get what we extracted, copy it, go in our PC, our main disk, and just paste it into there, okay, right there. At this point, we wanna double click on it, open the driver, and double click the setup. Run it as an administrator, okay, this is key. Now at this point, of course, you want to have your controller connected via USB. And by the way, be sure to use a cable if you're playing competitively because wireless, you lose input lag. Okay, so there we are. We want to go on top here and put all so we can see everything that we have. And now we want to find our joystick, which in my case is this. Endpoint audio, yes, but it's actually DualSense wireless controller. So you want to click on it. Okay, now we want to click on install service right there, hit open. At this point, we want to go on the rate and instead of default, we want to put 8000. At this point, you want to install again. 
you want to click filter on device, you, sometimes you need to install another time again. And now, as you can see, filter yes, 8000 by interval 6, everything is running properly. Sometimes you do need to unplug and replug your controller. So we'll just do that, just to be safe. And as you can see, it's green by interval 1, which is what we want, and 8000. So everything is running properly, and we have our controller successfully overclocked. Now, if this gets red for you, first off, try to unplug and replug your controller. Or you might have missed the secure boot step, disabling the secure boot, and disabling the memory integrity. Those are two very important steps that if you miss, you will get this one red so now i will show you guys how to set this thing to start with windows which is important but uh, if you are liking the video this far please drop a like and subscribe to the channel as you promised and let me know in the comments if it helps you i'm gonna promise you guys if you try this thing you're gonna think you're cheating because it's that good the difference is that big okay so at this point again if you want you can close the video but we are setting this software to start with windows okay so how do we do that is we use something that's called task scheduler so go on the search bar and type task scheduler open it right here and now you want to go on create new basic activity right here again sorry for the italian in my computer and now we want to call it uh, whatever you want so i'm going to call it controller oc let's go ahead and now you want to make it start at the start of the pc okay this is key then you want to go next and then you want to go start program and now here you want to navigate until we can find our software which again is in our pc main disk hid usb f right here and then we want to go into driver and then we want to select the setup right here hit open hit next and then hit end we are nearly done we want to go into our library right here wait i will make it bigger for you guys we want to go into our library and we want to find our new activity, which is our controller OC. And now we want to right click, go on property and make it run uh, with admin privileges. And now you want to hit OK and we are really done. So now you have this software starting with your PC every time you boot it. Again, this is not very important because if you want, you can just start it manually. So it is an optional step, but hopefully guys, you will now destroy your opponent in Warzone, Apex Legends, Fortnite, all those games, okay? So again, if it was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe. And we also show how to overclock the rest of your PC, like your CPU, your GPU, how to undervolt these. It's all on the channel. And we also show you guys how to make cool PCs for very cheap in case you want to build one for yourself. So see you in the next one, guys. Bye.